Hey guys, so I know some of you have been dying to see video or pictures of my Bristol Fry. So I'm just going to do a quick video. I've been super busy the past couple weeks, so sorry for the lack of updates. But life has been very busy. Um, so busy I barely have time to take care of these guys. But hopefully things will slow down a little bit here. So anyways, here's their setup. I have them in this cement mixing tub from Menards. And I think it holds about nine gallons probably. And over here I have a couple brine shrimp hatcheries bubbling away with a light over them to provide heat and also light because they need light to hatch. So baby goldfish are so tiny that they need to eat a food that's very tiny as well and they also typically only eat foods that are live and actually moving around. So baby brine shrimp are an excellent choice for baby goldfish to eat and you just cultivate them um, in little DIY hatcheries like this and in the future I do plan on doing a video showing how to make these but it's really simple and those are bubbling away the one in front was started sooner and then the one behind it was started about 12 hours later so um, that will give them one meal every 12 hours and then I have a little air stone in the fish tub here and a thermometer and a heater and the heater set at around 74 I think and here you can see some of the babies I think there's about a hundred give or take a few when they were eggs I only counted about 75 but once they hatched, I realized there were a few more than that, so I'll try to get a close-up view of them for you. They're very cute. And I don't have a macro lens, so this isn't going to be very good footage. But if you could see them better, you'd be able to tell that they have tiny little nubs for their pectoral fins. So, and then you can see after they're done eating, their little bellies are orange because of the brine shrimp in their bellies because their the baby fish are perfectly clear and see-through. So you can see everything. You can see their swim bladder inside too. Sammy's going crazy. And right now the babies are about two weeks old. They were spawned on the 13th, so that was two weeks ago. And I kept the eggs at a really low temperature, not on purpose, but just because I didn't have a heater that was small enough and they were in my basement. So yeah, they took a while to hatch. I think it was about four days, I want to say. So they're a couple weeks old. I do have a heater now, obviously, as you saw earlier, but I didn't have a heater at first. It was just so, like, unexpected that my fish were going to spawn, and I was sort of prepared because I had brine shrimp eggs, at least. But I was not totally prepared, so... And then I got super busy with work and just life in general. So I've been having a hard time finding the time to take care of these guys, but they're doing okay anyways. <laughs> they're so fun to watch. You can already tell they're goldfish because of how much scavenging on the bottom they do. So typical. I'm really excited to see how they turn out.
Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing the little babies and I will give you updates as I am able to and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.